Hey everyone, welcome to Kip TV. I'm Kip and I have a lovely match for you today on Lakeside. It is a pug that is a pickup game and I love bringing these because it's always like the games I get sent of pugs are always really close and really good players so it's always like an all-star game with these all-stars like names you really you'd recognize and stuff. Well anyway, let's get to the names. So on blue, we'll be going by red and blue because that's that's the names I got. Anyway, so on blue we have Tyra Banks um, who um, stepped away from America's Next Top Model to be soldier today, so that was very selfless of her. We have JJK on Spy, uh, Soap from IFA, that's it was International Fighters Alliance, I think, is on Medic. And Dave Plus is um, from T or from the Syndicate is on NG, and he is an amazing NG, so we're going to spec him as much as possible, so get ready for that. We have Mao on Heavy, uh, Steve C on Sniper, Bamberley from Evil, Beastly Minions on Demo, Pud, uh, what team is he on? Oh well, um, as Pyra and then Bronze from also a Baby Punching or from Baby Punching Marathon on Scout. Over in red we have Frostfire as Soldier Smacka is Pyro. The B is by apparently I'm friends with the B. I have no idea who that is, but uh, we'll call him the B because that's what he's tagged up as. So we have Rebels as Sniper Bra. Uh, is NG Red is Demo Shoe is Heavy Killamol is Scout and Scoot. Is medic. Oh, that's gonna confuse me. All right, well, let's get going. We'll watch. Oh, did not get on the demo cam as soon as I wanted to. But anyway, here is Mambele coming up and putting a bunch of stickers down on the point to see if he can't do some damage. Red actually, the demo for Red took a lot of damage. It goes down immediately, so not having that demo at this mid fight is gonna be very, very essential. But uh, also, Mambele went down, so no demos. Oh, he went down to a backstab, so nice, nice job right there. The B doing some work. Uh, Red taking a lot of damage or a lot of casualties right here. So blue is going to maybe be able to push onto the point. No, there's a mini sentry gun, <laughs> which uh, won't stop them too much. Indeed, Soap has oh, Soap has Uber gets backstabbed by B again. So uh, doing some nice work right there. This mysterious B person. Uh, we do have the heavy coming up and clearing it out the point out and look at this 360 rotation I'm so good <laughs> but then Shu goes down to a headshot from Steve C so nice work right there and Blue will finally capture the point as uh, they uh, mm, yes they finally capture the point that was about it that was all I wanted to say there so we're gonna watch Dave plus and see his he's rocking the Widowmaker interesting decision right there I, I definitely need to do a cast or something with him and pick his brain on all of his choices because he's a very creative engineer so I'm gonna probably steal some of his sentry uh, uh, spots here anyway we see an uber coming in from red interesting choice to run the uber right here they do not f do they finish no they do not yes they do finish off soap uh, I'm sorry I'm a little confused about the Z stuff uh, they do finish off soap, so they get that medic kill, which would be very important for them because they are running the uh, Uber, which will, you know, significant, which charges significantly uh, slower than the crits. So soap, now knowing that uh, they are running the Uber, is continuing on with crits. So they have a faith in their demo man, it looks like, or um, those explosion classes to um, do a lot of damage and uh, take advantage of that crits which you can do so, so effectively on Lake Side. We've definitely seen it happen before. Here comes Blue Spy in, um, getting air blasted, but not lit on fire right there, and he is still on the run. That is, uh, uh JJK. Uh, finally, is he gonna be? Yeah, <laughs> Smacka finally tracks him down, although he's still alive in the boathouse, going for a little dip. Um, and JJK is still alive, so getting out of that situation, barely. Uh, Soap has popped his crits right there onto the point, taking down Scoot, so there we go, important pick, uh, getting that medic, and he was in a significant charge there for his Uber, so, um, gonna be really important pick right there as Blue pushes back onto the point, they will be able to take this, it looks like, yes. So now we will watch as Blue defends the point. Times, um... We're ticking down, nothing too significant or tight, there's no need to be worried yet. We are seeing blue push up and be very aggressive right here, which is uh, definitely one tactic you can use here at Lakeside. It uh, is dangerous though, because you can easily get uh, flanked from the back because there's this access through the pool house, through the point. Um, you can get classes coming up this way, so you really need to make sure all, all these uh, entrances are guarded. Right now we do have um, Sniper, Spy, and NG over here, while the heavier classes are pushing over here on the right, so it looks like they have a good setup. I think I just missed an ooh, uh, crits pop, so sorry about that. Um, talking strat and miss the and miss the important important picks. Uh, I'm really good at this still. So 
Um, so we'll see what red is doing in order to break this kind of uh, barricade they have to, of blue they have to go through. Right now, Scoot is down, so not uh, even being able to charge that Uber. So uh, not looking super great for red right now. Red right now. Yeah, I said that. <laughs> I said that right. We're going to watch Shu as he oh, runs into a Pyro who takes down Pud with a uh, nice reflect rocket. Soap is down, however, so not having that medic is going to be significant. We'll see if Red decides to push up with this. Indeed they are, but they have to do something fast because the time is almost up. 60 seconds left, though, is plenty of time to stop this point. Lakeside, plenty of time. Um, Dave, though, his mini century doing work. Where is his mini century? I'm going to steal his spot wherever it is. Ah, in this corner. Alright, it does go down pretty easily. Red takes him down, and then JJK getting Shu and Red, so that Heavy and Demo are down. So, let me get on JJK's cam. Is he? No, he is down, but he definitely did some nice work on the point to shut down that push. B is also on the point right now with that Spicicle, also dead ringing. He spotted the medic, so uh, Soap is at 90%. Could be significant if B goes after um, medic right here. Oh, and he's really good position. He's got... Oh, he goes... Brings up the zapper instead of the knife. Oh, it's because his uh, spicicle melted. That's why I hate the spicicle. That's why I hate the spicicle. Anyway, uh, Soap has this course right now. Should just pop it immediately. He does. He is listening to me. Um, none of those. Oh, finally, does connect with one of those sticky bombs. And there we go. Blue team wins the first round. Let us watch. Our, well, yeah, we'll watch Mandalay's roll out again. We saw a little bit of it last time. Of course, the demo is so important on these mid fights. You want him to get there as fast as possible. He is going to go center, but then also just um, shut off the ooh pool house. But he takes a sticky from red. Red was now overyield, so um, good. Uh, positioning and rollout there from Red Demo, who's actually still taking those overheels. So, in Scoot actually going down, Steve C spotted him through the uh, pool house right now. So, Red, as he was overhealing the demo, exposed himself really uh, uh, in an unpleasant <laughs> I was gonna say he exposed himself in an unpleasant way, but that's not what I wanted to say. He exposed himself in a way that was friendly, that was made him vulnerable to snipers. There we go. That's what I was going for. Uh, crits coming from Blue right here. It's popped a man. Mandalay again. Uh, we'll see if he can connect with anything. Not so far. This heavy was just hiding behind. He is still alive, too. So that is uh, Shu, who's doing some damage right there. He's actually pretty hurt right now and doesn't have a lot of backup. We do have this demo on the point. Red doing some nice work, taking down Dave. And the rest of Red coming from the pool house. That's where they were hiding, getting those flanks and forcing Blue down to fall back. As Red will get half the point. So both medics, I think, running crits right now. Uh, interesting decision from Scoot not to go back to Uber, because of course Uber will beat crits in any standoff. However, it takes uh, twice as long for that Uber to build up. All right, Dave, show me your fancy spots that I can steal. Yeah, yeah this is pretty much what an NG is. <laughs> Half the time you're just waiting for ammo <laughs> or metal to build stuff. Uh, I love it though. I love it. Oh, both of JJK's bodies going down right there to fire. Kill him all is doing some nice work. Is he still alive? He is. Let's find his cam. Because he just got a 2k in there and now he's going after the medic with his pistol. Might be able to do something here. How? Uh, Soap is actually still at full health right there. So, uh, kill him all is backing up this. Um. Lakeside, of course, can be very friendly to scouts. There are a lot of running room, of course, but then a lot of flanking opportunities as well. Uh, very easy to get in on Sniper's face, and um, as we've seen, get in behind and pick off players that have uh, taken lots of damage from the demo, unlike this crits that is coming up from uh, Soap and Mambalay again. Will ha have any connected? There we go. We take down Red, take down Shu, so kind of successful there, but Frostfire coming back and taking down Mambalay Soap. Tyra Banks and Steve C. Wow, that wasn't even a crit either. That was just skills, raw, raw skills from Frostfire. Uh, Got to get on his camp. See just what uh, he is. He's been drinking his milk. That's for sure. It's really strong, uh, <laughs> strong rockets there. So Scoot still has that crit um, waiting uh, 
to deploy that when uh, blue comes pushing back in. Probably when blue is on the point, they will come back and uh, take it or pop that Fritz. Um, Red getting a 2k in there as well. Uh, Spy and on the point. We'll see if no, he does get taken down. So Red looking very good right now. Only three up for blue. Going to be a hard push for blue if they want to take this. Uh, although Scoot did go down, so not having that medic. And we're going to watch Frostfire now as he bombs the battlements, trying to get that. Oh no. Oh, he found the medic, but uh, he also Mission found this bottom heavy, which is often seconds. attached to the medic, so unfortunate for Frostfire right there. So blue is being harassed from behind. They really need to concentrate on getting this boy right now, of course, but there's only about 15 seconds left. Red still has a great. Um, a pretty good presence right here um, in between, but actually they are being uh, spanned a lot and need to fall back. Here comes a heavy who is just uh, spun up and ready. Oh, Scoot is so out of position. He gets taken down right there. Bronze tracked him down and Blue comes back and takes the point. They still have about 2 minutes and 30 seconds left though. Again, we're going to see Blue be very aggressive and come up and try to do this front hold on um, offensive, this front offensive hold where they um, come up to this right side. So however, they are having problems with that now when there is a soldier who, with a wizard's hat um, who is being very aggressive as well as this pyro. So Red is not going to let that forward hold happen again because they had a really hard time breaking that. I remember Blue is leading 1-0, so Red really wants to take this in order to tie it up. We'll see if that happens though. Mao is on the point with crits protecting uh, what he can do, but he's got to spend some of that crits on this stupid mini sentry gun. He can't even get the scout because he's just dodging everywhere. So really nice uh, dodging right there by Killamol, who has about 35 health. Um, and now both the heavy and the scout have to fall back and get health. Because <laughs> that was a pretty sweet battle right there. We missed a crits, but Red taking down a lot of a couple players right there, getting 2k. Now going down, JJK going down, yeah, and there we go, a win for Red, so it is now tied 1-1. Let's get on Red's rollout. Let's see what he does differently, because um, he won last mid-fight. Uh, yeah, he goes directly for the pool room and uh, anticipates that, that the spam will be coming in from Mambule right there again, so... Um, just putting on some sticks, not really connecting with anything it looks like, uh, but did get those heals and he's still alive. Now just lobbing stickies over the point again. Mambule is taken down. Oh, backstabbed. He's made into a beautiful sculpture. Beautiful. And uh, what was I saying? I don't even remember. Let's see what Tyra Banks is up to. Who knew Tyra Banks could rocket jump? I'm involved in a little soldier battle. Oh, Scoot has popped his crits though. Um, not able to do a whole lot right here. How? Did, uh, what happened right there? That crits was... Mm, well, they did take down... Okay, never mind. Sorry. Very successful crits as they take down Soap and the heavy. Mambalay finished off right there. So Red pushing onto the point. Um, held, successfully held it off, but oh man, Bronze taking down Shu. Was Shu very hurt? He must have been hurt. Um, but right now, only Mao up. They did get those respawns, so we'll see. The bee is running the diamond back. I don't know about that. Is that uh, even a I think it's allowed in UGC, so we can't find out. But, but we'll keep on his game because we haven't uh, spotted anything he's done. Um, but he has apparently done a lot because he has 36 points. And we've seen a lot of ice sculptures, for sure. So, we're gonna stick on his cam. Oh, he has spotted out um, his death. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> he spotted out the medic. He could have had a nice jump there, but they, or they also spotted him out. There we go. That's what he's trying to say. Anyway, Scoot with this uber charge. Oh, he saw those uh, that spam coming in and knew he had to pop. Unfortunately, that uh, still doesn't make you invincible. Dave going for a uh, NG hold right there. Not able to do it. Pud gets taken down as well. We'll see how Red decides to respond to this. If they will contest the point, it looks like they are going to. What Frostfire again coming in bombing for. Frostfire again doing good work, coming in bombing, stopping the capture for a little bit, but Blue is looking much stronger right here as most of, uh, some of Red is, well, lots of Red is really hurt and have to fall back. Scoot only about 4 health and now he's finally uh, regenerating some of that health, but uh, still in a very precarious situation. As well as Bra and uh, Bra. Yeah, that's how you say it, Bra. I need to pop my collar as I do it though, right? Anyway. Um, let's watch the Dave cam real quick. That Widowmaker. That Widowmaker. 
uh, not able to get the health pack and dies just reward, so very unfortunate for him right there. And um Oh, here comes Blue with the crits. They really want to clear out this. They didn't know that uh, Red was so close, though. Oh, and the crits not connecting. Oh, really unfortunate. They were spamming this area further away um, when they didn't realize that Red was actually a lot closer. Shu does go down, so Mambalay does finally connect with uh, one of those. But here comes the crits from Red. Oh, taking down Hood right there. Can they get anything else? Uh, Shu went down as well. I'm not sure. I didn't see... Oh that happened but so that will allow blue to slightly um, still hold but they lost a lot right there so red is taking advantage of their player advantage and push it on all right interesting now we're seeing a red be pretty aggressive right here um, red also the demo being aggressive putting down some sticky traps guarding one of these choke areas um, so let's see what else is going on right here. So that is being guarded by the demo right here. We have the point with our medic heavy engineer just kind of roaming around. Oh, this sticky trap is spotted out, and here comes the heavier classes. Uh, we'll see if they can get him. Oh, big, uh, big demo battle right there. Scoot goes down. Soap is alive, but barely. Mao did go down for blue, so not gonna be able to push this. Maybe they will. They are still gonna try. Uh, they got emboldened by that medic pick, so they will. Uh, they will. Uh, blah, 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 what am I doing? I was just uh, distracted by Pud getting a nice X extinguisher kill. Oh, and then Steve C getting two headshots in a row, so uh, we'll go to his camp in a second. Is he alive? He is alive, so let's go to his camp. Oh, we'll see Frostfire destroy himself. Alright, so Steve C. With that a festive sniper rifle. Sniper rifle is what I said. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. First I was also saying something else. I'm a little scatterbrained right now. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, Soap has his grits. Let's watch what happens with the grits. Uh, we'll see if they decide to use it aggressively. There is a spy behind them. Um, where is the bee is the question. Soap is very, very careful right now. Oh, he pops it on Mal, but loses Mal, and then goes down to a sticky, crit sticky of his own. Oh man, Frostfire jumps in there, takes down Pud as well, coming up from behind the point from the enemy, enemy, enemy territory. Um, so a really good play right there from Red. They did not notice the spy on the point, and JJK gets one kill on Shu, um, but then gets caught out and destroyed. So Red only has about 45 seconds left to guard this point, and a good position to do so, even though they were down there heavy, he is just respawning, uh, building up some energy stuff as well, so that'll be helpful. Blue is still being very aggressive, pushing without the crits. Um, they do have all their players, so they are feeling pretty confident, but again, we're gonna have a demo on demo battle, uh, which is pretty derpy sometimes if you don't uh, connect with those pills or those stickies at once. Um, who's gonna get the... Oh, it was a fake call. Oh, but Soap goes down right there. No, it wasn't. It was... Oh, I'm sorry. So Red gets the crits first and absolutely just destroying Blue right there, all of their front lines. Uh, Blue did get some time on the point right now, but they will be... But Red will be able to hold on. Uh, yes, indeed. Oh, uh, looks like... <laughs> oh. My bully came in at the last second, but he was not able to perform any magic. I wonder if my bully does no magic. That'd be cool. Let's watch a soldier rollout now. Uh, interesting, Tower Banks is not rocking the disciplinary action, and is not jumping either, so I'm wondering what... Okay, now she's jumping. Oh, she banged her head right there. Can't be happy about that. Um... So a little bit of a wasted rollout right there. Uh, usually you want to run the disciplinary action to help your team get to mid or jump and um, get up into the battlements to pressure the sniper and anyone else who might be up there. But uh, not happening that time. And blue actually down three, four players right now as red kept everyone alive and everyone mostly healed too. So we'll see what red can do with this. Indeed, they will be able to to cap it and need a little bit of going for some control of the pool room as well. Smacka is on the case. Smacka, I believe, is uh, the same as Smacka. Well, actually, I don't know if it's the same Smacka that uh, plays in, but... or played... Is he still playing? Anyway, I don't know. Smacka is a pretty common name, you know. That's one of the next-door neighbor's name is Smacka. That'd be pretty cool if it was true. Anyway... 
<laughs> Red continuing to take the point and doing a good job of holding it. Let's get on Frostfire's cam just now teleporting to the front line, so nice teleport location that's kind of around where I usually do it. So we're seeing some nice work from Bra to the Red Engineer as well as Dave Plus from the Syndicate. Even though he is not number one in points, and I am disappointed, Dave. I am disappointed. <laughs> Actually, it's so hard to get points on um, King of the Hill as NG, unless you just sit there and wrangle your sentry gun the entire time, uh, if uh, people don't know how to take down a sentry gun. So like right there, he's uh, just... He's already uh, died and lost his sentry gun in just two rockets from Frostfire. So Frostfire doing a good job securing a pool house. He's actually taking some fire right now, gonna fall back. As he... Uh, where did he go? Okay, no, he's still... Oh, still controlling it, but Bronze gets a nice kill. We'll take... we'll go on Bronze camps because he is in the battlements right now doing some nice um, action. He spotted out the medic. Uh, doing just jumping around and making me a little dizzy. He is going after. Oh, he gets Scoot to drop. He gets that crits drop. Huge right there. Red was in a good position to push back, but now that will be denied. Of course, they still can try, but it's going to be a little less effective. So Scoot is back up though now and building. Soap, however, however has that crits. Mm, guessing we're going to see it come relatively soon. Mambele is charging up. They spot the medic. This is the time to do it. They do pop it. Can they get soap again? No, none of those stickies connect. Oh, that's so unfortunate. And then Revels takes down Mambele with a headshot. Uh, so just unfortunate uh, spacing and placing and time uh, right there. Oh, Steve, how? What? That was a, what? That was a headshot? Okay, sure. Um, really good shot right there from Steve C taking him down the spy. Oh no, we lost someone. Um, who was that? The control point is being captured. Um, soldier, I think, yes. Soldier has dropped, so is that Tyra Banks? No, that's not. That's Frostfire, so actually a pretty significant player for Red Team. Um, can you do pauses and pugs? I think you can. But anyway. Uh, we will wait for him. Mamberle getting that crits again, this time taking down Smacka. So connecting there. Scoot, however, has his crits popping it on the heavy, which we'll see how it works. Taking down the opposing heavy, got soap right there actually, so it was pretty successful. Lots of blue going down. Uh, Scoot did get taken down right there, but the rest of red will be on the point and will be able to cap it. We're gonna watch JJK as, uh, he is rocking the regular. Oh no, it's the ambassador, sorry. Bleh. Was it? I wasn't even paying attention. Um, we'll just watch him as he uh, he's on the stock knife for sure. Um, Dead rings at that situation. What is he going for? Is the question. There's just so much to do as a spy on, or so many opportunities because you have this wonderful place. Oh, misses that because this uh, medic backed into him. Scoot survives barely there. He does not know how close he was to. Being dead. Being, yes, being dead. <laughs> Scoot uh, is still alive, watching his back a little bit more now, except there's a pyro. Oh, pyro goes down right there. Smacker taking down Hood. Scoot does go down, though. Mao coming around the corner and taking him down, I believe, and that's going to be a very successful push for Blue. As they shut down that red defense. Uh, again, we're waiting on... Um... Frostfire is actually in spectator, so I'm wondering what happened there. But uh, Frostfire definitely a uh, an, an important member of this team, so we'll see. Oh, here he's back. No, we have Dynamite from Unentitled. Awesome. Dynamite. Um, so he'll be helping out all the soldier. We'll see if he's rocking the black box like his uh, predecessor Frostfire was. Uh, anyway, though, Blue is holding pretty secure. Uh, taking pretty good secure hold of the point right now. Just looking at their defense, they're kind of clustered around the water cooler slash dispenser. Um, and finally now spreading out Soap and... Ooh! <laughs> soap and who is he with? Okay, Mamele right there. Um, in the pool house with that Uber. Oh no, here comes the other Uber! Soap's gotta get out of here! Scoot's gotta... Yeah, that is Soap. Soap's gotta get out of here. We're not able to do so. Oh man, and then... Mao is so totally dead right there, but there's a... 
Spy in behind. Oh wow, huge play. JJK takes down um, the heavy right there, and then the soldier gets headshot, I believe. Blue is gonna hold on to it for a little bit longer. They're in overtime right now. Here comes uh, Bud, or Smacka, I'm sorry, Smacka, and he's just blowing fire onto the point, trying to stop anything. Oh, Mambalay coming in, but gets taken down by the mini sentry gun. Where is the mini sentry gun that's. Uh, oh, he's behind right here, so nice work, <laughs> nice placement right there from Bra. Uh, will Blue be able to come back and take this point is the question, there's only about 30 seconds left, so definitely enough time. Maybe not enough time to charge that crits though, so they're gonna have to do this soft push. Uh, oh, will they be able to? I see a wrangled sentry gun, that means Dave Plus is working on this action. Dino was taken down right there. Oh, for a second they had two soldiers. Um, but now, Blue is going really gonna push in here. There are no time left. Red just needs a suicide onto the point, which they are, uh, well. Yeah, they need to just a suicide on the point where we're no double overtime right now. Soap actually does get the crits and laying down some stickies doesn't even get anything with that. Doesn't matter, because Blue comes back and uh, holds on in double overtime. <laughs> oh, Lakeside. How you amuse me. Here, it looks okay. Frostfire is back in the game. Watch Mambalay's roll. And again, these demos are doing the same thing. They are very much creatures of habit. We'll see how it works out this time. Mambalay, uh, pretty hurt right there as uh, Red is overhealed, so he's definitely looking better. Just sending the stickies and spam right down to where all the heavy classes are, so they really need to take out Red, and actually they do. JJK takes him down with the revolver, so a nice pick right there. So Blue is emboldened and gonna push forward, although they have to deal with uh, this heavy and sniper over here, but not gonna be a problem, especially when the crits comes in. Remember, like, those sweet, sweet crit stickies. Um, Watch out for the Sinji though, his Sinji and his little sentry gun will both go down, unfortunately. For all the Inji fans in the audience. Which is everyone, right? I mean, who doesn't love an Inji? I don't want to know if that person exists, a person who doesn't love the NG. Because that's just... Oh! <laughs> B gonna get a nice shot right there. Imagine Dave took that in the stomach and it was very painful to his, um, his virtual character. Not to him. Hopefully not. Scoot is got that little bit of crits advantage. We've seen both teams are pretty inclined to pop it as soon as they get it, uh, especially, except if they're in that precarious defensive situation. Red actually just being very aggressive right now, putting down a lot of spam as his team is trying to push up. Ooh, pulling back from that. I think they assumed that Scoot had a crits right there, and that's why they were being so aggressive, but in fact that was not the case. Now Scoot does have a crits. The soap is gonna have his in a minute soon. Here we go, here is the pop. They pop it again on Mambalay, who's being blown back by Pud right there. Uh, and Pud gets taken down. A little bit of that crits left, but not going to do a ton more. Oh, did I say Mambalay? I meant red. Because red is on red. Mambalay is on blue. Uh, anyway, soap has the crits. See if they pop it as they make their way to the point. Probably should do so. Indeed, it is popped on the heavy, which, if there's nobody around, is not going to be successful, of course. That's kind of the case for all crits. If no one's around, you're not going to be successful. So, but they are successful in that push, even though they lost soap right there, and everyone is really hurt. So they uh, really could use that medic right now, or maybe a dispenser, but not going to happen. So their hold on center is probably going to be tenuous right now because they do not have uh, the numbers or a great position or anything like that. So yes, here comes blue back. Oh, I mean uh, red back with the cap and. Looking at very aggressive, again, just pushing forward as they take mid back. The point, mid, center, all the same thing, right? Right. We don't have enough scout cam on Kip TV. We'll get some more scout cam as soon as... Uh, Bronze doing some nice work taking down Kromal, and then he took down the B as well. Where is his cam? Actually, let's stick on JJK's cam as he's defending the point, or attacking the point right there. They do not, Blue does not have uh, control of it. Red is sticking down the time with it. We'll see how JJK um, goes Team Spy right here. Not going for the health, but instead just carrying the gun. 
Alright, he's actually on his lines. Going for them, head, them headshots. Um, not connecting. Oh, and then just dying right there. Probably wishing he had gone for that health at that point. Revels in a really tricky position right here. Uh, almost had a shot on the medic. We'll see. Oh, he does get Mambalay right there. Looked like he was shooting through the wood, but I guess uh, it's a quirk of the STV or something. But a uh, really nice shot right there. Oh, where they get Stevie. He really wants that soldier. Also wants the pyro, but not able to get either right now. Um, looking, he's a paranoid little little Australian. We're gonna stick on his camp because he's fun to watch. Just shooting through wood, getting them headshots. Mission ends in 60 seconds. Uh, his team does not have the point right now, so he... Ooh, missing that shot. No, Soap actually taking a lot of damage right there, but actually Red got the uh, kill for it. Oh, okay, nice shot on Mambulay. 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 I don't know why suddenly couldn't say that anymore. Uh, but he has to watch his back, there is a spy on the point! Uh, he's trying to go for the kill on JJK, but kill him all takes him down. Red, barely able to uh, stop this, just with the scout and the sniper, which is definitely not the classes you want to be on mid, protecting it. But here they get the backups of their demo and medic. Heal up that sniper, he did a good job. There we go, Revels is getting them heals. Whereas he's about in the middle of uh, in points, we're gonna see the sniper battle, sniper battle, which a scout uh, very rudely interrupted. So Revels and Steve C will be resumed in that later. Red just trying their best to hold on to this point. 45 seconds left. Uh, they do have 100% Uber, so they could very uh, possibly do this. Um, although their whole defense doesn't look. A uh, little scatter doesn't look too great right now. Um, s that Uber has, or that crits has been popped. Not going anywhere, but they have pushed up a lot, so getting that space is going to be key. Blue is not going to have that to push forward into. They do have this crits right now. Need to pop it? Yes, indeed, they do, but oh man, Mal gets taken down by a backstab right there. Soap gets taken down as well, and um, Steve C gets taken down as well, so that is going to be GR for Team Red and Team Blue, meaning Team Red will take this, so 3 to 2. I believe that means... Mm, nope. No halftime, I guess. Um, I think they are playing till four, at least. Those are UGC rules. I, oh man, I'm getting all my maps mixed up. Yeah, it's four. Or is it five? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's been a long day. Alright, um, let's keep on the Frostfire camp, because I like what he's been doing as kind of this roaming soldier with the black box. Um, very much operating on his own, but doing nice work. Seems to be taking down Steve C right there, getting in his face. So, uh, no sniper overlooking that point right now, and Blue losing a ton of people. Only three up right now. Um, Frostfire a big part of that, I would say, with the sniper pick. Um, but now, Blue doesn't know he's here, so he's gonna wreck some... do some damage, I would say. He, they have now discovered him, so he's, uh, oh, he has discovered the medic, though. Can he take down Soap? Oh, no, he gets six, takes a lot of damage right there, and not able to survive that. Soap, however, did survive it. Scoot has his crits, though. Gonna pop it on Red. Can Red connect with any of these stickies? It doesn't look like it. Oh, it's so hard when everybody scatters. Don't you know that stickies that glow and shine like that can be your friends? That's what Red is saying, at least, but, uh... Blue ain't that stupid. I'm definitely seeing these teams are really evenly matched for a pug, which is awesome to see. That means they're getting a lot of good practice in, and I believe this was right before the Lakeside uh, official UGC match. So it does have this crits. Where did he go? Uh, here we go, Mambalay coming in with those crit stickies. Can he connect with any of them? Takes down, kill them all. Um, Steve C get, takes down Revels right there. Uh, oh, some nice reflux by Smacka. Smacka does eventually go down, but those uh, pills were... No oh god, Steve C going... <laughs> Steve C going for the SMG kill on the heavy. Not generally a, um, a great tactic, but that, that was funny, so I, I like it. I appreciate it. Oh! Soap getting a, taking a ton of damage right there from the scout. He needs to 
I'm sorry, scoot. Oh man, scoot and soap and... Uh, words, hard. Um, but he manages to stay alive. Revel's getting another nice headshot right there. Oh, spotted the sniper right there but could not connect. We'll see. They're in some pee. Ooh, not able to connect with any of those, so we'll um, give him the benefit of doubt and uh, assume that he makes some of those headshots after we stop specking him. You know what we haven't specked for a while? And I said we would? That would be Dave. Oh, Dave is dead. Alright. Poor Dave. Alright, so let's watch Steve see and how he counters Revels. Actually, Revels is down right now. Steve taking some shots on the heavy, um, able to call that out to his team, no doubt. Getting a shot on Bronze, but Bronze is actually pretty crazy overhealed, so that's not going to happen. Where is Red coming from right now? It looks like they were going to go for the pool house, but um, Demo is just spamming over the bridge right now. We have Soldier attacking from left. This uh, Red offense is a little disjointed right now. I'm not completely sure what's going on. Of course, it could be this super awesome strategy that I'm just not aware of, which is definitely possible. But Scoot staying alive, overhitting everyone, and they will go back to this kind of center hole. But here comes the crits! Uh, Scoot going down right there. Uh, Mambalay, did he connect with anything else? Taking down a shoe. Uh, Soap is barely alive. Oh, and Steve C pulling out that SMG again. He loves that. Oh, he's gonna snipe this. This is action. This is great. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. Not every sniper can make that shot. But pretty impressive. I joke, but that was, that was nice. He didn't take any damage, so... And that mini sentry in the boat, the bathhouse, slash pool house, I could have done a lot of damage. So Red, again, trying to make this push onto center with kind of a disjointedness. Blue, uh, with their defensive hold, uh, looking pretty solid. They do have this dispenser, they are holding this position very strong. Mamele getting that uh, crits and taking down Smack and Scoot right there, so pretty important picks. Red gonna have a hard time pushing back if they do not have that Medic or Pyro. Uh, they're of course gonna get those respawns. Pyro is so important for protecting the point because you can just blow people off, which is so, so frustrating but so useful. We will see though if they get back in time to help uh, cap this point. Because meanwhile, it's uh, going very much in favor of Blue right now, which means we may tie it up and then go to a tiebreaker round, which would be crazy. But uh, there'll be a lot of fun because these teams are so evenly matched. Oh, Frostfire again, nice kill on bronze. <laughs> Blue still holding this point, and Put is getting ready to air blast anyone away. Um, see, there he goes. Oh, he's running the uh, uh, shotgun with his air blast. Or with his decreaser. Interesting. Right there, racking up them free points. Uh, blowing fire out of people. Extinguishing, that's the word I was going for. Oh, but he does go down. Revel's taking him down with a nice headshot right there. There's just a heavy on the point. Here comes Smacka, and he's gonna help out and try and delay this round as long as possible, but a soldier and a scout on the point is not going to happen. So there we go. Blue wins, and we are 3-3. Three to three. Watch Mambalay's roll out right here. It could be. This is gonna be pretty significant. Whoever wins this mid fight may take it. We actually haven't seen the mid fight be too significant. Um, both teams have gone back and forth a lot, especially that double overtime round. Um, so we'll see how they're able to do this. Red goes down immediately. Mambalay getting that nice pick, so no demo for Red. Also losing Frostfell and. Frostfire and Revels right there, so Blue looking like they're in a very good position. Will, um, yes, they are piloted onto the point, sending the heavy up a little bit further, but he is not with his medic. Oh man! Oh man! Uh, medic was in a lot of trouble right there, but Soap escapes mostly because Shu, I don't think Shu knew he was there, but uh, either way, very lucky. Lucky to be alive. i watch Mao's cam as uh, Soap has been favoring. Well, no. I mean, Mambalay's gotten some of the crits, and then uh, has Mao gotten some? I think. We've seen a few heavy crits, they're just not as successful as those, uh, those demo crits, which are also more fun to watch, because people explode everywhere. Oh, but he does get the crits right here, he's got to get the medic, he saw the medic decide to go over the demo. Um, soap is 
Oh, soap goes down, a nice bomb from Frostfire. Uh, Scooch, the red medic was what I was going to say, but he uh, escaped from that crit. So red coming in, doing a nice job shutting down that crit, even though they did take a lot of damage right there. So that's a story in how to be successful when still dying lots to a crit. Alright, we'll, we'll let Dave get back to the point and then we'll spec his his view to see what it's like to be an engineer. In case you guys didn't know. Which you should. You should always play NG. Just go to a pub right now and play NG. It'll make you feel better about yourself. Oh, Red getting a pill uh, to the... taking a... Giving a pill to the face to JJK. I don't know how I want to say that. But anyway, it happened. We're gonna stick on Red Cam because Scoot has a 100% crits and he has been favoring Red for this. Um, the pops. Oh, what? He gets that crit right in front of Steve C. Um, but Steve C takes him out with a headshot before he can do anything. Bra getting a nice kill on Mal. Uh, Red looking pretty good right now, being very aggressive and getting the picks they need to accept actually Red, um, the demo right there. Oh, now we have a spy on medic battle. Scoot actually did get a hit in there, I think, but he is really hurt and he's gonna have to fall back. And nicely getting the protection of his pyro right there. Smacka is helping out. Oh no, oh no. Oh, the bee misses that shot and can't connect. He is still alive though. Um, they still know he's there and he's not escaping that, so unfortunate timing. Frostfire getting the kill on Steve C, then finishing, uh, then Bronze actually finishing him off right there, but we know what that means. That means you killed yourself. Ouch. <laughs> Alright, Dave. Show us what you can do, Dave. Oh, he is maybe not going to live for long? He is going back to mid. That's the thing with NG, you feel like you should not take up your medic's time and demand heals. So you're just kind of always running to find your own health, running to find your own ammo. It's a very lonely existence as NG on King of the Hill. Because they're like, I know I'm not really essential, I know you could probably play without me, but uh... Actually, look at Bra, he's got 76 points right there, so he's been doing some really nice work. Oh, shoes positioning right here! Absolutely ridiculous. Um, not going to get to that jump though. Did not focus the heavy soon enough. So blue is going to come back and cap this? Question mark? Is the question? Red, the demo is doing some nice work delaying that cap, but he does go down. Mao takes him down right there, so now we have a couple blue players up here on the point, but they need to get a better presence if they want to hold it for two minutes, which is going to be very hard to do because we've seen this red team be so aggressive. I mean, both teams have been very aggressive, which is fun to watch. It makes for interesting. <laughs> but uh, red only has about 30 seconds left to hold the point fourth, so they are in a good position. They like their chances right now. Um, we've got a battle for the pool house kind of going on. We do have Frostfire in here. We're going to watch him as he jumps around in his wizard hat and performs a little magic. By the way, that's probably one of the coolest promotional um, mis uh, hats that I've seen. The wizard hat. Oh, I got off of his camera. Oh, but we're gonna watch JJK as he fail steps. Yeah. I don't think I've caught any <laughs> any good spy um, plays on this, and that's probably my fault because I can't anticipate when they're going to happen. Uh, Mamberly coming in there, taking down Scoot, so a big pick right there. No medic for red. That's going to um, help Blue really bolt on for just a little bit longer onto the point. But as we have seen, the crits are, you know, good to have, but they're not imperative. You can very easily do a push without that crit. Um, it just depends on the numbers and the positioning and uh, other fun stuff like that. Let's see why Bra has lots of points. He's got a center position that's pretty good for defense um, that will hold off anyone, any jumpy jumpers or people coming down the stairs doing a good job. I, I really, I, I'm seriously wondering what he's doing to get so many points. Oh, maybe the teleports. The teleports. No, I don't even see a teleport. Right anyway. Oh, big play. <laughs> Saw that out of the corner of the screen. Memberly taking down Scoot again. So Red just can't keep their medic alive. They did, however, take the point again without that crits, without that medic. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That hat. And that scarf. He's looking very stylish. Very stylish. 
There's only 15 seconds left to hold on to the point. Blue is there though, and Put is leading the way in terms of stopping this, and they will be able to do so. That means we're gonna get down to um, pretty crazy times. Only two seconds left for red, 20 seconds left for blue. Um, pretty ridiculously close right now, and I think this is the this is the deciding round. So get ready for chaos. I'm not sure I'll be able to cast this as blue is still holding on, but here comes the suicides and just the last minute efforts from red. They are going to be able to recap. No, they get stopped midway. Here comes blue though. No crits or anything. Red has most of the people on the point, but now he's doing a really good job holding it down. <laughs> what? Maybelline comes in and gives a suicide bomb. Oh, now we have the scout and the spy on the point. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. It's just the scout left. It's just the scout. It's just bronze. He's all alone. That's absolutely, that's absolutely ridiculous. That, that was ridiculous. Oh my god, that was amazing. That's why I love King of the Hill. Um, thanks so much to Cam who sent this in. That He was, um, uh, masquerading as Mao today, so thanks to Mao as a heavy. Um, thanks for watching. If you have ridiculous games you want to see cast, definitely hook, hit me up at falafel1066 at yahoo.com. Uh, follow me on Twitter and all that fun stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed that match because that was pretty funny. I mean, funny in a good way, but it's that was awesome. Anyway, thanks so much, guys, and have a good day.